Today I'm going to talk about how does route optimization work and what's really important is how does it work for your business and how does it save you time but also make you more money. So route optimization is really useful for businesses that are doing larger numbers of deliveries or appointments in a particular day. If you're doing a large number of deliveries then it makes a lot of sense for your business and the reason why is in the old days and even some businesses still do this today is that they will allocate bookings to different drivers based on the suburbs or cities that they're actually servicing and that doesn't really make sense. The reason why it doesn't make sense is imagine Imagine you've got two suburbs. So you might have suburb number one here, and you might have another suburb like right next door here. And if you've got a delivery that's here, and then you've got another delivery that's sitting here, it might actually make sense for this driver in this area to actually do both of these deliveries. When you're doing it the old school way, where you're actually just allocating based on the names of the two different suburbs, you can't actually see this and you can't actually figure this out, it's impossible. What a lot of people do and what I've seen in a lot of businesses is they've got a spreadsheet, they would start allocating based on the names of the different suburbs. I know that driver looks after that suburb, that driver manages that suburb. Suburb allocation is the only way you could do it historically because you didn't have the technology that was available today. In reality, what it actually should be doing is it's like, what is the most efficient route for this driver to leave, let's say your depot sitting down here, and what's the most efficient route for the driver to actually get to here, to here, and get back, if they have to come back or get back to their home. And so if you do it that way, this is just a maths problem, these suburbs don't actually matter. Suburbs are just this made up thing that humans have invented to figure out who lives in different areas, but it's just made up. It doesn't actually make sense. And this is a complete maths problem. And so with a route optimization engine, you'll have your deliveries all over the map in all these different locations. And the system will take all these into account and it will do millions of difference of calculations and it'll go, okay, you need to go here, 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 and this is the most efficient route. Now what you can also do with route optimization is that you can actually build in some rules. And so you might want to say, for this particular delivery, I want to have this completed at 9 a.m. That's just a rule. You build that into your algorithm and the algorithm will then be able to figure out which is the order based on that particular rule. The other rules you might have is you want these deliveries to be done in the a.m., some to be done in the p.m., or maybe this particular delivery needs to be done by a particular type of someone with a particular skill set. Again, that's just a rule. And these are all things that you can configure into a route optimization engine that allows you to build the most efficient route, making sure that the deliveries happen in the fastest possible way, saving you the most amount of money. Today, as carbon is becoming a big thing, doing this will allow you to actually reduce your carbon footprint. And I think that's a really important thing to be able to use this technology to help your business, save money, save time, but also help the environment. Hope that helps and, and makes a lot of sense in how you can use route optimization for your business.